Hello my soccer universe, in a few hours I'll be leaving for the airport, so yeah, I'm trying to make this quick, but we have a women's world cup final coming up, I've only made short videos on the semis, so I decided to make, combine it, talk about the semis, but also talk about a little bit ahead of the final, in a way, which pitches Spain against England. And I want to do it a little bit differently this time around. I actually want to uh, first talk about Spain and all their path. And then we'll talk about England. And at the end, we'll talk about uh, maybe how I can see this final. A final which I probably will not see because I am on vacation. I probably will be on a car ride right there. So, uh, But I will do my best maybe once we reach our hotel to catch up on that potentially record a short and hopefully the next day after I'll be able to record a short video on that and the overall of the World Cup, but I cannot promise that for now. But let's talk about Spain uh, and their path to the final and I'll put some emphasis on the semi-final. Um, they actually looked really good from the beginning. Uh, typically Spain, pass, 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 pass. And then came the big boom losing 4-0 to a Japan team that also looked really, 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 really good and have that a result in the back of your mind for sure. Um, however, they rebounded quite well, getting a huge win over Swiss Swiss and kind of undoing everything they bad that they did against Japan. Um, had to be resourceful though against the Netherlands, where they were the better team, especially in the first half. Uh, however, the Netherlands were rather dangerous on the counter-attack. A little bit of luck could have uh, beaten them too. And then it comes to Sweden, uh, a Sweden that just had beaten Japan. And if anything, there is no transitive property in uh, soccer. Trans transitive property meaning that um, A is bigger than B, B is bigger than C, so A also has to be bigger than C. Now, this did not happen, because if that would happen, Sweden had beaten Japan, Japan had beaten Spain, so Sweden should have beaten Spain? No, not at all. That was a game that Spain really controlled. Uh, but Sweden tried with their pressing in the midfield to destroy the rhythm of the Spanish as much as they could. However, after 60 minutes, uh, they ran out, out, out of steam. And then uh, Alexi Puteas, the big star of uh, Spain, at least, uh, you know, two years ago or so on, but still a, a pretty huge name comes off and Salma Parariello comes on and she changes the game because suddenly Spain were really, really dominant in that in, in the game. They get the lead. However, out of nowhere, Sweden equalizes and you thought this is going to uh, extra time. And then Salma herself again gets the winner like she did in overtime against the Net Net Netherlands. And that's a young star on, on the rise, 19 years old, feels that... Not quite, but a little bit like Mbappe in 19, and 2018. But, you know, uh, the win was fully deserved. It was also the last game that we had now in New Zealand. Um, and Spain come out of the New Zealand part of the World Cup. Uh, probably the best team overall. Also has to be said, it's not. It's only a small fact, 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 because it was two uh, game games prior. Spain could play all the games in New Zealand, whereas, for instance, Sweden had to travel once to Melbourne to play the United States and then come back. But then they played uh, Japan really well against who were actually playing uh, in New Zealand also all the way. But yeah, um, Spain looking to find the form found their form again. I mean, they lost it a little, a little bit, but over, overall, I think the Spain team looks rather formidable uh, with their passing game. And so let's see how this will uh, translate over into the final. And let's talk about their opponents in England next. Going into the tournament, England were always considered among the very, very top favorites. In fact, I... Uh, Per person, I always said, I think this is England's tournament, even though they didn't look good in the build up. They also didn't look that great in their group, especially in their open against Panama. It was kind of anemic a little bit. Uh, against Denmark, they got a routine win. They found their form then with a 6 0 over China. This was like kind of the first boom. England is here. And then they struggled mightily against Nigeria, where arguably Nigeria were the better team. And with 
Lauren James getting sent off, they all played for penalties. And they won. Then they had to play Colombia, the surprise package of the tour tournament, with two really bright uh, attackers up front and with Linda Caseda probably the rising star of the tournament. Although, Salma Parayelo and Lauren James will take that trophy, most likely. They were down, however, the Colombian goalkeeper spills it, England can turn, turn it around and then they had to face Australia. An Australia team that was riding on a high wave of emotion. Australia was going nuts about the Matildas. I have rarely seen such emotion there. And I would say that Sarina Wichmann is exactly the coach to kind of take this off. I said, yeah, I know. They are the favorites, but we play our game. And in the first half, they really played their game. And were the better team took a really nice uh, lead through Ella Toon. But there were some defensive errors in there that um, Australia could have taken um, care of that too. And then the game would have been much, much, much tighter. I cannot explain to you how fervent the crowd was for Australia. Um, I honestly always had a soft spot for Australia, so I was actually hoping that the Matildas move on. Nothing against England, but it would have been a great story right there after having ousted France, taking on the next huge nation. Second half, the Matildas have way more initiative. Um, get it, get to England, create a few chances, and a little bit out of nowhere then, because England tried, had to had settle it. Suddenly Sam Kerr comes into and scores uh, potentially the goal of the tournament. I'm still for Linda Casados against Georgia because of the technical skill. But that shot, it took a slight deflection, but that shot just came out of... I mean, I saw her taking the shot and there's no way this, this is in! Wow, this was a really... And then suddenly momentum swung towards Australia. You really thought that they're going to eat England alive. In, in a way, Sam Kerr had a header. But then a really bad defensive error through Car Carpenter allows England to take the lead again. And that must have been deflating. However, Australia, yes, they swallowed a little bit, but then they had chances. And again, Sam Kerr, I think there were two, if not three more ch chances that fell her way. One where from very short distance out, she probably has to just uh, bring that home. Um, and then Russo makes it 3-1 for England. And this was such a class performance by England, I have to say. You had all the emotion going for Australia. And they were just clinically got the goals at the right moment. Just getting the job done. This is the mark of a championship team. I would say. Now, with a little caveat, because going into the, the, the final, uh, this is a replay of the quarterfinal from the last Euros, where Spain largely outplayed England, and England were lucky to win this one. Uh, so, and that was not even in Spain at their best. Um, both teams, had, I mean, especially Spain, has this really weird story with no one liking the coach, but they're still in the, in the final. England played for the worst, first world title since 1966 on the men's side. So that's also rather interesting. I think it's a tight final. Technical level, Spain definitely better. And if they can play the game, it will be a rough for England. However, I, there is something about this England team that has written champions all over. They are not getting faced if it's going. They have won every possible way at this tournament. Can they, find it, uh, can they now um, win it by largely being outplayed? That is the big question for, for this tournament. Um, I want to pick Spain just for the beautiful game, but I honestly, I have a feeling that this England team will do it. And I would love it because I really liked Sarina Wichmann. I, I, I really like what she's doing, but yeah. Let's see wherever it's going. Who do you think will be in the final? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.